Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on a Lumentop pen light. Now this is the IYP365. Now my particular version has the Nichia 219CT LED. So it comes in this box. They have an Amazon store, so if you're interested in getting this, you'll be able to get it ship to you quickly here in the United States. So let's wait no further, let's open it up and see what's in. Now it does come with a card here that they would love to hear from you on um, what you think of their products. Really nice. And we have a user manual here. And here you can see the Nachia light output is 145 lumens on high. Try to get closer. If you need more time to read those specs, go ahead and pause your screen. We're going to go ahead and move on here. Comes with two extra O rings. And here's a scale that they provided you. English on one side, Chinese on the other. Does come with a diffuser here. Really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the light. No knurling at all, so this is a smooth body. Machining and finish is excellent on this. I like the way it has a gold ring there and a gold ring there. Tail clicky, of course. Clip is pretty, pretty heavy duty on there. Style and design on this is very nice. Okay, so now we're going to show you the textured reflector there. This is again running the Nichia 219CT LED. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. I'll show you the contact points. That's the main contact point on the head. Of course, spring down in the barrel, which can't see. Well greased on the threads. And I'm gonna bring in a set of rechargeable AAA cells that I'm gonna be using here. And I'm gonna be using the Amazon Basics. Now these are an 800 milliamp cell. Had really good luck with the Amazon Basics, both the white and green and the darker gray and green. Been really good cells for me. And we'll go ahead and put this back together and we'll go through the light outputs. Okay. Now the UI is real simple. We're going to turn this on. Go through the light outputs. That's the highest light output there. The UI goes downward from high, medium, low. Beam on there is very nice neutral tint. Pretty nice spill area on that as well. Then of course, half press that, or you can do full presses if you want. Your choice. Half pressing that gets you the lowest light output. And that's all there is to this light. 
pretty amazing light outputs on this. We're going to go ahead and put on the diffuser here. Goes on there like that, real simple. I'm going to turn it on here, and we're going to go through the light outputs here with the diffuser. That's the lowest setting there. That's almost like a candle. And of course, you got the highest output there. Really nice. Diffuse light. Put this in a cup holder or something to be able to provide a nice light output. All right, and this does glow, as you can see. All right, so let's wait no further. Let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the lumen top pen light here, 365. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's turn it on. Thirty-five feet to that water spout. I believe this is on medium. Sixty-five feet to that tree. It is faintly making that tree. Really nice neutral tint on the color. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next light output here. That's on the lowest one here. And you can easily see about 10 to 12 feet. So you here. That's a really nice low output on that. So now we're going to go to the highest output here. You can see a nice neutral tint. There it is on the tree, 65 feet to there. Being profile here. Hot spots right in the middle of the screen. And it is faintly making a tree of life. Now, with my eyes, I can see it, but probably not going to be able to see it. Try to move the and you can faintly see it on that tree, moving it around. Really nice color temperature on that. Probably a little warmer, probably about 4,500K. Thirty five feet to the water spout there. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Really nice performance from this, especially for a small little compact pen light. Running regular Rechargeable cells in this always helps. I don't use alkaline too much. Um, I'm in fear of them leaking if leaving it in the light for long periods of time. So we don't want that to happen. So, so that's one of the reasons why I use rechargeable cells. So all in all, very nice build quality. I've got to take my hats off to Lumentop. They make a very nice quality flashlight. Now I just want to thank Lumentop for sending me this 
to review. Now, if this is something you are interested in getting, they sell these on their Amazon store. And I'll leave a link down in the description, and that will help you be able to get this, and it will ship quickly in the U.S. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of pen lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.